Welcome back for another video. Today we're taking a look at the Middle Earth strategy battle game and the new battle host boxes that have come out. So there's a little bit of a, a video here. Uh, so I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to catch this live because I was working, but uh, I still wanted to take a look at it and just talk about the boxes. So I've got the video all queued up here. So why don't we take a look? I like horses. <clears throat> the character models are, are so well done. The cloak on that was painted so well. Holy crap. That's perfect. <clears throat> Great model. So there's the four boxes. So it, I have played Lord of the Rings in the past. When the movies were coming out, I was actively like buying these boxes like crazy. Uh, I had a full Isengard army. I it was fully painted. Uh, I I loved it. Like I was painted the white hands of Saruman on everything. Like oh man, that, it was such a cool army that I had. Uh, but with these new boxes, I like this idea, right? Of of army in a box right you you are kind of hesitant about getting a bunch of different things over time and it's just like i don't know about this but you can just do a one shot be like no no play with this right i'm not sure the points values for lord of the rings at the moment uh or what they're doing <laughs> i haven't played in so long but uh i still like this concept where <clears throat> you can grab this get get playing right uh theoretically and i'm assuming that each uh box has the same points value in it so that you can just play right out of the box right versus your your friends um i really like the character models uh i think they're really well done they look great however um the other models that come in this box these are the ones i had right when the movie came out like 20 years ago where like oh man i'm old but like those are the same urukai models that i had when i was a kid and it's kind of like oh cool and then at the same time no they need to be redone right like for the scaling of lord of the rings i i wish they were just a little bit bigger i wish they had scaled things up just slightly um but i know that like lord of the rings is huge in uh in britain and like it does fine there like i feel as though that's more of a me thing like i would have liked if the scale was just a little bit bigger so you could kind of get a bit more detail on them but again a lot of the models like it's just they're 20 years old right they've redone the characters to keep the copyright for it because games workshop has to produce lord of the rings models to keep that copyright which they're obviously going to but they're not redoing the baseline units they're bringing out a lot of new characters they're bringing out again a ton of forge world stuff now but um for them if 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 i was to ever get back into lord of the rings uh i would probably repurchase the urukai army that i had because i generally did love that army but i don't want to paint the same models again right like i had a huge army i enjoyed painting them but if they again range refresh right like let's go on getting some new stuff out right like uh, the riders of rohan too like these models are so old like they're so old <laughs> it's crazy but uh, maybe, you know, people are just happy to be playing the game, right? I've generally heard good things about Lord of the Rings and where it's at right now. Um, but again, uh, it's, I'm doing all the things right now, but you know, 
Like, there's a couple things or units that I might actually get, like the Knights of Dol Amroth, I've always wanted, but again, the scaling of them isn't quite right for me. But who knows in time, right? I, I, I never say never kind of thing. With, within the miniature world, you never know what you're going to end up getting, but let me know in the comments if you like this battle host idea. I do think this is a much better idea. I think Lord of the Rings, for a lot of people, uh, kind of looks confusing to the outside because the game system again is a lot more hero based with their actions uh but uh when you're picking up stuff for lord of the rings it's kind of at least initially if you don't have someone guiding you it's a little bit confusing on what you should be getting uh but these boxes make it very easy i'm assu assuming there there will be many more battle hosts kind of for every single army there's going to be one of these boxes so that there's somewhere for you to start which again for new players is fantastic uh, again, let me know in the comments what you think of the battle hosts. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Help me grow the channel. Uh, I appreciate it so much. Uh, I'll see everybody in the next video.